Oh, yeah, I totally missed this too. Good reason. Okay, messages. Okay, there we go. Back to where I was. Sa quick save. More often. Oh, it isn't. It isn't there. Okay, guide to mechanical engineering, elite troop armor. And what else have we got in here? Oh, you can even break stuff down automatically. Okay, spacer's choice property. Okay, symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I've instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is already a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we're expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we don't carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medicine treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate a worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recap recapitulates spiritual weakness. Wow, that is all sorts of wrong. You don't want to go to work with the flu. That's how everybody else gets the flu. We should probably find the old domicile then. It's probably maybe one of these two houses. I don't know. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Gotcha book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh... Yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Why did you think the book held the secrets you were looking for? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. At least you still have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Oh, please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. That all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. 
Are you sure? Are you even a vicar? Because you aren't sounding very vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Sounds good. Let's go. Or... How'd you get assigned to prison duty? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? Sure. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. That. Who's the voice actor for that guy? Because I swear I recognize the voice. Okay, so I was still putting points into tech. Because, yeah, I'd like to be able to break down weapons and armor. Let's see. 20% chance you repair items will become pristine. Increasing value and durability. So that's what the gem is. And yeah, leveling up is weirdly loud for some reason. I don't know why. I hate it. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's, let's grab Traveler. And then last thing I'd grab is carrying capacity. But for now, I'm zippy. I can loot stuff. Everything is good. Where's the public house? Because that's something I should double check real quick. There might be something there. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. Even skill points available. Do that to you. Oh, what? Oh. I hit accept, it just didn't feel like it. Aha! Public house. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Now mind. I don't know which company you work for, but if it's Spacer's Choice, Boss can still write you up for fraternizing with an incompetent worker. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. You, you should get really drunk. Alcohol kills germs. I, I'm not allowed to leave the sick house. Even if I were, I shouldn't be at the cantina. How'd you get sick? First, I started feeling real low. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't wake up on time. Started showing up late to my post. Morale was flagging. I was showing doubt. Company always tells us. Weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself because you fell sick. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Esther said she was going to distribute some medicine to those who needed it. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. You're wrong. Why? You're not doing yourself any favors punishing yourself like this. That is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. 
All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. I'll leave you be. A good deed. Now, what is in here? Poops and rats. Wait, hold on. There's freaking sprats in here? I'm gonna hit somebody. And they're cute little suckers. But, uh... Yeah, it shouldn't be in here. Okay. I think that's all the sprats. Sadly, nobody understands anything about... How to, uh... How to handle plague. They, they probably just have the flu, like, uh, people, well, that one of my dialogue options was, but now... Something to report? Here to turn in a bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer Yo. on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here. Here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? More fingers. Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. I have fingy. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. What's this, Junior de Deputy Constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. How did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Sounds like marauders have been a problem for a while. Ever since the company first settled the veil. Life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folk can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Marauders seem to like Adrena time. Everybody likes Adrena time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. Man. Almost locked. Place is garbage. Region. Okay, last thing to do. Head to the botanical lab. Let's finish this planet off. I don't think we have too much left, honestly. I know I'm taking it kind of slow, but like, it's important. I'm enjoying it too. Oh, uh, let's see, while we're here, where's the guy? That's a deserter. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those data pads you wanted. 
No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Oh, I only found two. Part one, found in the community center archives. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. I got another one for you. Don't keep... Part two. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Okay, should go. The other book was in the other office right across from the one I visited. Wait, re really? Ah. Back to Edgewater real quickly. So it was in... Uh, it's also in the cannery? Let's see, I passed it up to go around. So, in the cannery. Huh. Okay, ain't in here. You sure? Yeah, I, I got this one. Yeah, no. Chances are, it's in the geothermal power plant. And I'm gonna have to clear that place out first. Well, that's fine. Let's say I can't get into that yet. It's like the last quest in the area, so... I wanted to hold off on that until I was pretty much done with everything else. So, oh gosh. I'm listening. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Living off power that belongs to the town, come back to the cannery, that's about it. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. She said the H word. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and... He raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. What do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. 
Let's see I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. See, so can you steal both? Probably not. That would be the super jerkbag move. It is an option. It's probably not the option I'm interested in, but it is an option. And anyway, let's clear, clear this place out. I'm assuming none of these side buildings have doors. Yeah, this one does not. Okay, so it's just this main main building that I can get into. Yep. All right, let's go punch some robots. I think this is one of the things where both sides are evil. No, I think it's just actually a. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Let's sell. Let's see, do we have armor? We have a reconditioned exo helmet. Oh. That comes with a sneak bonus. But it looks stupid. All these look pretty damn stupid. Okay, what else do we have? We have blade on stick. I'll probably hold on to it. Uh, let's sell that. Honestly, I'm just going to get rid of the revolver. And that. I want to tr try the shock cannon. Because the shock cannon sounds fun. And let's look around. A lot of dead bodies, unsurprisingly. I had to borrow your copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering. I need it for reference. I returned the copy to the repair bay. Gas everywhere. Mechanical's gone haywire. Gunfire hearing the screams. Oh, law. I think that was someone's leg. I'd like to leave early for the day. Please del deduct delinquency fee for my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> Would like to leave work early. Good lord. Yeah, shutting this down is good for everybody. You kind of wonder about that, and it's like, what's what, what's better? A somewhat primitive society where everybody's at least kind of living on their own terms? Or, uh, or corporate stoogitude? Okay. Miss Braden, letter serves as your informal notification of our company's displeasure towards your management of the Emerald Vale geothermal plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget their latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official re reprimand. Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Okay. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Department of Oversight Commi uh, Department and Oversight uh, Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration to your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their on ongoing employment. I'd like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agricultural and fishing slash canning departments neither of which are anywhere close to profitable. The Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. Juno Braden. Miss Braden, we have investigated the claims made against profitability of the greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing slash canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Committee or Office has taken a significant insurance policy against Emerald Vale Geothermal Power 
plan. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals, free of charge. Okay, so they effectively committed insurance fraud, killed everybody here, and then made bank from it. Whew, that's evil. Oh no, we don't want to go outside. Let's see. So what if I go down? We haven't really gone down yet. What else do we have here? Buster robot. I think I killed that one. I don't think there's anything over there. That's where I came in. Mind your head. Oh. Requires the geothermal chief's keycard. Eh, it's fine. I'll just hack my way into everything. It gets me more EXP than getting the keycard. And I've got enough of these lockpicks that I can pretty much just lockpick my way into anything and everything freely. Uh, let's see, personal files. Chester Higgins again, that hull head. Found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, just remind me that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockway room for the foreseeable future. Yeah, most games like this won't let you pick locks that require a key for plot reasons. Yeah, I appreciate that. This game has been very smooth going. I don't... Like, it's a lot of fetch quest stuff and just, like, go kill X or do, go do whatever. But this is pretty good. Yeah, am I having fun? Yeah, I am. Let's see. It doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about guns pointed every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an automated mechanical? Or an automatic mechanical? Never will. I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. The worst has happened, mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated me message initiated by Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. And then it tells... Told them to drink beer. Oh, interesting. For a number of these, uh, it doesn't even cost... Can I unlock this? No. That one is sealed. But yeah, for some of these, I don't even need a lockpick. Ooh, that looked like a fun helmet. Ordnance control helmet. Bonus to hacking. It also matches my armor. Well then. Okay, wants me to go out this way. So this is the control room. Anything else interesting in here? Not really. Alright. Plant status. 22% efficiency. So, structural damage detected. Notify designated supervisor. Okay, safety failure is detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Warning, redirected power is an irreversible procedure. Error. It's failed. Manual override required. Activate all three track switches. Okay, so they are down there. Yeah, the higher your skill, the less picks needed. I appreciate that. So I can't lock pick that one, but unlock door. Enter passcode. And we're good. Morgue. 
versus Bart. That's fairly effective. The zappy gun is by and far the most effective. At dealing with these guys. Eh, it's not too expensive. Wow. There's a human in here? How long has this place been? No, 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 just leave me alone. Oh. I'm like all the way at the bottom. This place is downright labyrinthine. Okay. We have a workbench. Speaking of workbenches, what do we have for this thing? Uh, let's see. A fun times barrel. Crit damage. Eh, it's okay. Now, the what I want to do is install a mod. Can I get a... Oh. Yeah, maybe. Gyro sight. Increases accuracy or... I can't change the barrel, but it's snipey now at the very least. So what else do we have? Extra durability, extra attack speed. Let's go for the attack speed. Let's make that quieter. Make this have more crit damage. Let's do that. I'm just going to use uh, a couple of mods just because stuff's kind of boring without. Well, let's see. Do we want to do that? Make it into a plasma thing? Nah, we need lightning for this one. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. She speaks truth. Two more. Incoming! I guess aim for the robo face. Doesn't really aim for the face, does it? Okay, shut off the steam release valves. Hell yeah. A lot of these skill checks are shockingly easy. I guess it's because I generally don't spec into combat related skills immediately, so I guess it doesn't surprise me too much. Not real. You're not real. Yeah, so he's all the way down there, I think. Looks like it won't be too long to get down, but I'm gonna clear things floor by floor. Just because this place is a little, little bigger than I thought, and I want to grab any and all loot bits. So I don't have to think about it. No. Nothing on you, nothing on that. Hello. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Yeah, huh? No, uh, let's see. I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Mama seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I have not lately seen a man with a bigger and more obvious crush. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe she's the kid from the letter you found? Oh, she absolutely is. I mean, considering the name was Pavardi. 
because they did actually manage to shoot out quite a lot of these robots before everything went bad. Oh, hacking skill too low. Damn, of course. Uh, that guy's passcode. I apologize, cute little rat beast, but you must die. Okay, that's barred. Where does this lead me? I'm just on a weird adventure. Seems useful, but let's check this out quick. Borrowed a copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. It's volume three. Need to read it down in the pit. Higgins. Terminal, prepare log. Herbert just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all of our mechanicals. Every century and drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I'd like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is leading brand and affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's Choice. Okay. Just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. Found some strange modifications to their logic modules. Hadn't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is these modifications were introduced in a recent refit. The company went through all the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. Guessing this was the work of those visiting technicians. Filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Said the company knew what it was doing. Ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Self. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little experimentation. Oh, it's Higgins. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. You made it out of that junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. That's odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion. All hostile auto-mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto-mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Let me get this straight. You want me to... You want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. I'm not sure about this. Entering standby mode. Awaiting further instruction. I'm leaving. Good robo-boy, but don't need the help. Don't want the help. Good Roboboy can just kind of hang out there. Now, if you join the party, that'd be a different story. But he ain't joining the party, so... Nah. Okay, so we're here. I think we've cleared this place out. I'm not entirely sure. I probably missed a bit. Anyway, let's go, let's go see Higgins. He's apparently been here for a while. Go away, Phantom! Unfortunately, poor Higgins seems to have lost his marbles. You're not real. You're not real. How long have you been down here? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Higgins? This phantom's got a name? No. You can't possibly be a hallucination. You're much too dense. Not at all, my corporeal friend. Higgins is my name. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. How long have you been down here? Ugh, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Aha, uh -huh. and what exactly do you do here? 
Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. You're an engineer? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. You worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to, uh, to stop them. Or, uh, let's see, how long have you been living down here? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Uh, let's see, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. I'm not afraid of any mechanicals. I can't even spell mechanicals. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. No wonder they're so angry. Someone messed around with their logic modules. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Okay. The tail. Anything else? Nope. Forgot. Okay, so yeah, he has been losing his biscuits. So he's stuck down here specifically. Kind of makes sense, I guess. So why do these sound dumb? They don't sound dumb beyond the spelling of the mechanical one. I think they're kind of dumb light, which is actually kind of disappointing. I was really hoping it would make my character like straight up non-functional. But no, we just have the slightly simpler options because our character is slightly simpler. It's... Uh, it's not terrible. It's just I was expecting... I was expecting more dumb and... You know, I'd ex I, I was expecting that I'd be more limited in like what I can do and interact with. Who cares about armor when you have electro gun? We may. Well, I reprogrammed all the mechanicals. Oh, Robophobia. Like the free perk point would be kind of nice. There's going to be a lot of robots, though. If you'd taken the full-on super dumb trait, maybe it could have been more dumb? Maybe? I just think this is the extent of the dumb dialogue options that they wrote in. Which I guess is fine. It's just... You know, it could have been funnier. But whatever. I mean, it more or less means I can float through this game as some kind of goof man. 